Welcome Scorpio, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 13th of May for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you're looking for an improvement in your romantic situation, the arrival on Wednesday of Venus, the planet of love and affection, into your sector of relating is going to be really significant and potentially very helpful. Venus moving through this area for the next 28 days can bring a greater graciousness to all sorts of interactions. It is true that Venus is going to be connecting to Uranus, the planet of freedom and potentially of rebellion. So if there is a relationship which isn't working so well for you, that and the arrival of your traditional ruler of Mars in your sector of independence on Thursday for a six-week stay may point towards you wanting to have a bit more space for you, even if the relationship is not terminal. You may just want to have a bit of a shift so you get some of your other needs met to do your own thing, spend time with other people. But I think the critical thing probably comes in the guise of the full moon on Saturday in your sign. So if something really isn't working, that and the role of Uranus suggest you may decide to head to the door marked exit. But don't be too quick to do this, because someone could surprise you with their responses and how they come towards you this week, which actually could be really pleasing. And after all, with Venus and Mars in a very collaborative angle, this is certainly a week when the air can be cleared, where there can be a greater sense of understanding on either side in relationship situations. But I think the key to all of it is for everyone involved to sharpen up their listening skills. Have you ever had your personal horoscope prepared based on your time, date and place of birth? If not, the information within this will go way beyond your zodiac sign. Based on your character analysis or 12-month personal horoscope forecast, if you choose to have both, I will give you a 30% discount. My forecast uses a modern form of prediction called directions. This is where we advance a natal birth chart forwards one degree for every year of your life and then compare it to your natal birth chart when you were born and also to current transitory planetary activity. A large astrological study found that this was the most accurate form of forecasting. Why not join me beneath this video on the link and check this out for yourself. But for now, it's been a pleasure being with you. Good luck and goodbye.